Well, so another video about Outdoor Vitals. Uh, now, this is a, a pretty special product to me because I love wool. I love 100% wool. I go camping with, you know, I, I'm not an ultralight backpacker. I go camping a lot of times with wool blankets, 100% wool blankets. I'm more coming from a bushcraft, you know, camping background, and I'm not all into the ultralight stuff. But what I do is I will look to companies in other niches like hunting apparel and ultralight backpacking to find quality gear, and in this case, clothing, that is going to reduce my pack weight and provide me comfort. Usually that means warmth or cooling. Now in this case, understand, I love 100% wool, but the problem with 100% wool is that it's not, it, wool, wool is warm even when it's wet. Okay, so that's one of the great things about wool is if you get it wet, it's gonna keep you warm but it tends to stay wet longer. Not as long as cotton, obviously. We all know cotton kills, so you don't wear it if it's you know, gonna be wet and cold. But wool has an amazing property of being, you know, being able to regulate temperature. And so you can wear wool over a really vast range of temperatures and, and be comfortable. Well, the nice thing about what Outdoor Vitals calls their dragon wool, which is made with new yarn from Torre, um, high-tech company making high-tech fabrics over in Japan. In fact, I first learned about them from another company that makes hunting apparel. And when I saw that Outdoor Vitals was using Torre as well, I'm like, oh, well, this is interesting. What I've found, actually, let me show you this. I'm gonna go grab uh, the dragon wool hoodie. In fact, I liked it so much that I bought another one. Let me grab it. My typical olive drab kind of color here, but what's really, really great about it is I can wear this as a base layer just by itself, or I can use it as a mid layer. And it really, really shines both ways. Let me put this on. Oh, it's got a really cool thumb loop too. Like it's kind of different than any other that I've ever seen. Let me show you this. See how it's like there's this little triangle pattern here and the thumb just goes right through, which helps to keep your hand warm, which is really nice. So like I said, I can use this as a base layer. In fact, I did that uh, last month. Uh, I was at, uh, I was a vendor and an instructor at an event. And in the morning, I just put this on and I'm a really big fan. It's comfortable. I mean, it, it feels good. It's comfortable. It's, it's, it's rather on the loose side, which I prefer. I'm a bigger guy. So I prefer it to be, you know, I got a gut and all. So I prefer it to be a little loose, you can see. Uh, but the thing is, is that I can wear this just by itself as a base layer you know, and, and not need a mid layer sometimes. Or if it's really super cold, I can wear it as a base layer and wear a mid layer over it. Or I can wear a more wicking base layer and use this as a mid layer. So it's a versatile piece. It really, really is. And I like it so well that I also bought one in blue, because why not? I mean, I haven't actually worn this one yet, but uh, 
it's not the right season. It's uh, like 90 degrees out right now. But this is awesome. Using the very same Dragon Wool technology, I've got underwear. And um, it's nice because, see, the thing about Dragon Wool is it's about 51%, I think. Actually, let me check. So the thing about Dragon Wool is that it's a 200 weight or 200, 200 grams per square meter, GSM. And it is 59% merino wool, 31% polyester, and 10% nylon. Now, I'm not a scientist. I'm just going to break it down as a layman. The 59% merino is fantastic because merino is warm even when it's wet. So you got that. Merino is odor resistant, which is fantastic. But the 31% polyester allows it, Outdoor Vital says that, it, it wicks four times faster than 100% merino. And I believe it. You know, adding 31% polyester is really quite fantastic. And then 10% nylon. Nylon is tougher. And so it, it's got a little bit more durability. So that's the way I see it. The merino is for the warmth and the antimicrobial effect. The polyester increases the wicking. The nylon increases the durability. And it's also got a 50 UPF. So, you know, if, if the sun is out and, and, you know, it's gonna protect just like this altitude hoodie does, also by Outdoor Vitals. But the thing is, is that I was a, I was a wool guy for so long and I always liked 100% wool, but I'm really, Outdoor Vitals is convincing me that sometimes a wool blend is actually superior depending on what you're doing. Like if I'm just, just sitting around a fire, I want 100% wool because if the embers hit, I want it to hit 100% wool. But if I'm trying to stay warm and I need a good base layer or a mid layer, it's fantastic, fantastic. I'm not a fan of 100% merino wool base layers anymore. I've got them. I've got a smart wool. It's a hundred percent base layer, but it doesn't wick as good. It holds onto the moisture longer. And that's not what I want for a base layer. I either want synthetic or I want a wool blend because synthetics wick better. They release the moisture better than wool does. And so even with a blend, having that is synthetic property is just a superior product for what I do anyway. So anyway, if you're interested, I'm gonna put the weight of this down below and on the screen. And uh, if you're interested, I've got links below where you can buy your own Dragon Wool hoodie from Outdoor Vitals.